Meantime, hip-hop star J. Cole made his childhood home in Fayetteville famous when he put it on his cover of his new album in 2014. Now the home has been vandalized, graffitied by someone who says the rapper doesn't even care about the Ville. As many folks in the city call it, Morgan Norwood's on the store. She joins us live outside that well-known home on Forest Hill Drive with the details. Morgan. Yeah, Joel, well, when Jake Cole and his family moved to this home from a Spring Lake trailer, he actually used to joke that this place was a mansion, a place to dream big, and it's no secret that he would go on to do just that, and as you can see, inspiring others to do the same, but over the weekend, Vandal's challenging his message, implying that the Fayetteville rapper could do so much more. From the looks of it, Mo was here. Alvin was too, and over the weekend, a Vandal used J. Cole's house this is my canvas. as his canvas. The photo shared thousands of times on social media. Questions Cole's care for Fayetteville, but by this morning, the message had been painted over. Think back to Forest Hills, no perfect home. The rapper's childhood address also made for a platinum studio album. That was back in 2014, but... Since then, a not-so-private tourist attraction, according to Peter Van Borculo, who lives just one house down. People have come and climbed on the house to take the picture. People have stolen pickets off the fence. Uh, it's amazing. I mean, people... Van Borculo isn't a fan of J. Cole's music, but he still shares a personal connection. Um, he grew up in the neighborhood just like any other kid. Went to high school with my daughter. And, you know, when the kids run up and down the street, he'd run up and down the street. And that's why J. Cole announced plans to turn 2014 Forest Hills Drive into a haven for single mothers. No, there was only one, and it was after the album was produced, and I think it was a mother with three kids. And she was only here for about a year and then left, and it's been empty ever since. Hey, but let's go back to this message, though, with his Dreamville Foundation helping kids in Fayetteville to his upcoming music festival in Raleigh. Apparently, the person or persons who did this need to do some research. He's a good kid, a person now, and, and I, I like the fact that he's successful, and I, I give it to him. And Fayetteville police say the vandalism wasn't reported to them, so right now there are no suspects. We're live from Forest Hills Drive. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.